numbers in Warzone are falling fast. Redman tried to gas up the new season by posting propaganda. The official Call of Duty account responded, but failed to get above 15 likes. It's just embarrassing. But, it's what they deserve when they have spent the last four years catering for streamers. Instead of fixing the anti-cheat, they would rather spend money on sending the streamers lifelike dolls, specially created around themselves to feed their own egos. Now we got another package from Call of Duty. Chat, it's me! Guys, if I was an operator, would you guys, like, buy my skin? Call of Duty, thank you so much for this. As hundreds have recently been laid off by Activision, they decided to send all the streamers action figures. Based upon how they look. Meanwhile, the anti-cheat is failing fast. Most of the streamers received them. However, Middle Eastern-born Nadia Amin did not. As her homeland launches terrorist attacks upon Israel. Nadia decided to make her priorities clear by responding to the previous Vice President Mike Pence directly. And of course, turning off her replies. She is currently banned from Call of Duty and all its events for using cheat software. Breadman also got a little free toy car. It was a nice little gift from Activision. If you think Call of Duty care about you, you are absolutely delusional. They only care about streamers. As the red carpet is laid out before them, Thursday? It was like a children's birthday party. The community laughed when the Warzone players were humiliated by the CDL players on a land to prove who is best. Well, Repuls is still in damage control, where he is begging the CDL players to make another tournament. It's just getting desperate at this point. But there is a problem, Repuls wants the CDL players to play on the same team as the Warzone streamers, but Shotzi doesn't like the idea and refuses to play with Biffle. Repuls is offering them 5,000 each, it's just hard to watch. No grown man should ever be humiliated like this. What's the least amount you guys would play for? Let's say I did a, I did a CDL not versus Warzone, a little but with Warzone. Warzone. So let's say you win a little big deal there, you guys teamed up in like uh, super two. So you would do like first map, hard point, yeah. against other one CDL, one Warzone back. Yeah. And map two, kill race on yeah. Warzone. And map three, SMU. What's the least amount you would play for? Like for the winners, the winners would get. I asked Scrappy to give me a number. I'd probably do like 10 10. Is that insane? Or like. Five, you play for five, 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 five. I say five. I say five. You play for five, you're Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 5K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, would that be the price pool or would that be. No, no, no. So it would be 10K only for the well, entire tournament? No. For, if you win the tournament, how much would you. Would it be worth it for CDL guys to play? Yeah, yeah, not playing that thing. I'm not even doing with fucking, uh, I think Ahsoka said it. Like, Damn, he don't want to play with you. It's all good, bro. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 but listen, listen. Right, Repuls wants Warzone streamers to now play on the same team as CDL players, and he is trying to get a large prize pool. He also is arranging Biffle to play with Shotzi behind the scenes, so Biffle gets a nice payday. This is why these tournaments are rigged. No, actually, yeah. If, what do you say, bro? If you win, you get 10k. No, no, no. no. It, it, but I would be tuning with like one of them. Yeah, yeah. Cause Scrap said it's chalk if we do like trickly CD over. Oh game. hell no! Yeah, we get we get shit on. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, why'd you say that? <laughs> Repuls is trying to convince Shotzi to partner with Biffle, so the Warzone streamers can claw back some credibility after Shifty and Soka were absolutely destroyed recently by the CDL players. It's just embarrassing at this point. I've never liked Repulse's tournaments, I've often accused him of completely rigging them in favor of Biffle. This Friday, I'm excited to go live for the very first call of Shame stream. I'll be starting my destiny journey from the very beginning, and I'd love for you to join me on this adventure. Whether you want to team up or challenge me, there's a spot for everyone. I'll be streaming for a few hours each day, so come along for the ride. My fire team will remain open. I will speak more on this tomorrow, and I will post the times. For those who have not played Destiny, you're in for a fantastic adventure. Listen up Guardians, 
Call of Shame will be Zavala, live. Zavala, shut the hell up.